Good morning, this is Jackie from Island Girl Tarot and Sacred Journeys. And it is time for our daily reading. So hello, good morning, good morning. Come on in. I hope you're having a beautiful morning so far. Did you guys get a chance to see the full moon? Wow, was she beautiful. Just beautiful. I was up at five this morning and I had my first cup of coffee with the moon. She was beautiful. So let's go ahead and get our self cleansed and purified. Let's go ahead and create beautiful, magical things today. Calling in angels, spirit guides, calling in all our beautiful ancestors and energies that want to bless us. I'm asking for all the most beautiful energies to come forward to give us the, the most important reading for us today. And so it is, and so it is. Ooh, there. How about that? There we go. Let's get some good smoke. Cleansing and purifying your energy and my energy. And let's see what the runes have for us first, and then the cards. So I'm hoping that you're having some coffee or some tea. So Spirit, what would you like to show us today? What is the most important message today, please? Good morning. <laughs> I have my coffee. One more. Hold on. Mmm. Yum. It's so good. So good. I just love my coffee. Alrighty. So Spirit, what do you want us to know today? This is an overall collective reading. If it doesn't fit you, don't worry. What do we need to know? Please and thank you. Okay. Okay, cool. Unikite? Orange calcite? And? Yummy. Our rune for the day. Hagalaz. Hagalaz. Ooh. Okay. I'm not loving that one. Wrath of nature, destruction, trials, and tests. Okay, well, it looks like today there may be some testing going on or some trials. And then I also have Unikite. And this, oh, yum. Did you see that? The smoke just flew up when I said Unikite. That's kind of like, I just love stuff like that. I believe that everything is perfect. Everything is perfect. So that means that and I'm going to go ahead and put the orange calcite and the unikite meanings in the tarot section of Island Girl Tarot. But again, so I feel like I want one more room. Like what about, what about this trial test? What else do we need to know? Okay, listen. Okay, look at that little ear I found on the beach. So, this feels like it's a call to listen. Doesn't that look like a little ear? <laughs> to me it does. It's just cute. And I'm like, oh my gosh. So this is, the, this is the invitation for us to really listen. If something's happening in our reality and you're feeling like, oh, you're starting to get triggered, listen. Try to stop talking. This is amazing. And listen. Listen to your inner voice. Listen to what the other person's saying. Listen for greater truths. Feels like you might be having conversation today with someone that could, on the surface, trigger you. And we don't want actually to be triggered, but sometimes that happens, right? Sometimes that happens. So let me just really quickly read you Unikite. Unikite is the most healing crystal. It's pink and green, and so it's for your heart chakra. It resonates with the frequency of love, compassion, and kindness, and it's dedicated to bringing emotional balance to your body. So Unikite, that's that, isn't that lovely? 
And I know I have a, that's really strange. I know that I have orange calcite because I know that I made a, like a meme, not a meme, but a post about it. I'll post it in, I'll post it in. And you know what I realize? I need to get myself organized. <laughs> anyway, I have so much stuff on my desktop that I can't find it when I need it. And that's what happens. Oh, it might be in here, actually. It might be in here. No, okay. I'll post it, I'll post it. Anyway, so let's go ahead and get on with the reading. Sorry, I don't know why I'm taking so long. Well, I wanted to find what orange calcite meant because I don't want to tell you wrong, but I'll just, I'll post it. But anyway, so there's a call for you to listen today. Listen, because there may be a test, a trial, something that's like an aggravation today. Yeah, again, every time I say certain words, the, the incense just goes crazy. So I'm asking all the angels of love and light to bring you the, just the perfect, perfect message for us today. So let's see. Let's see what's coming forward. Let's see what wants to come forward. Spirit, show us what we need to see. Show us what we need to be aware of today. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. All right. All right. Here we go. Okay. Well, you know when the first one that popped out already? Seven of Wands reverse. So coming out of defensiveness. Coming out of feeling like you have to protect yourself. So yeah, that's awesome. And then temperance flew out. Oh yeah, wow. The ten of ten of swords flew out sideways. So really this is about your thoughts ending with the thought. It's really the thought of you feeling like you have to defend yourself all the time. Interesting. And then also temperance flew out sideways. And then lovers reversed. So this may be to do with, ooh, wow. This may have to do with a relationship that fell apart and you're still feeling like triggered by someone like you're under attack by someone or you don't trust someone, but it feels like you're being invited to come out of that energy. It's even a belief system of feeling like you have to defend yourself all the time. That's what it feels like right now because the Ten of Swords is a, a completion and the Swords is mental. It's like the stories we tell ourselves. So what's this? The tower reversed. Okay, so this is something that it's a sudden shift, but it's something that you're causing. So a sudden shift could be, it doesn't have to be destruction. It could be like sudden change, something you don't expect. Okay, so the temperance came out sideways, so that could be a Sagittarius, but it's also a calling to balance and also patience. So along with, you know what? So be patient. Be balanced, and that goes along with this morning with the, re the reading with the rune. There may be some trial, some testing, so try to listen before you react and respond. Be balanced, take your time, patience, patience. Sagittarius card is temperance, patient, tempering yourself, tempering your temper, tempering your reactions, because there's something about Either a choice, lover's reverse could be about also not making a choice, but it feels like there could be something regarding a relationship that didn't happen. Hey, good morning. So yeah, so it's a call to listen. If you're feeling triggered, listen before you respond. You don't have to defend yourself. Come out of this self-defense mode, the seven of wands. You don't have to always have your, your guard up. You, you can really release that story with the Ten of Swords here reversed, or it's actually on the side, so it's inviting you to release that story of being defensive all the time. 
it's asking you to really release a lot of things so you can let the cycle close. Allow the cycle to come to completion because it feels like there is new things waiting for you. It's just this one. Oh, wow. And the Ten of Swords, Ten of, you've got the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Wands. So something's been really heavy. Something has been really, really heavy and it's time to bring that to close. Whatever has been heavy, if it's been a heavy relationship, if it's been the way that you have been feeling, there's a real heaviness that's wanting to come to a close. And again, talking about emotional balance, the stones this morning were unikite and uh, orange calcite, talking about emotional balancing, healing, balancing the heart chakra. My, my incense is going crazy over here. So, so yeah, just allow yourself to really be grounded, rooted and grounded in yourself. Allow yourself to be at peace no matter what happens because there and, and um, really listen, take time to listen to whatever your intuition is speaking to you before you respond and react, okay? It's really important because there's a cycle wanting to close and it feels like the cycle is about how you're responding and how you're being. That's what it really feels like. And then this, yeah, so you are actually... You're either at a crossroads, you need to make a decision, or you're not seeing something. Because the Two of Swords is usually, usually she's blindfolded, and she usually has her two swords across her chest, protecting herself, refusing to see something. But look at this lady. Okay, so she, on this deck, she's a little bit more open. She's actually a lot more open, because look. Her heart is unprotected now, and she's open. Her swords are up in the air instead of crossed over her, sh her chest. So that's actually a beautiful sign, like to open yourself back up. Allow yourself to be open in your heart space and to release the need, again, of defending your heart. Because in normal Two of Swords, she's defensive, she's blindfolded, but she's protecting her heart. She's refusing to see something and she's refusing to make a, uh, like a choice. It's a mental block. But here, she's wide open. So look at that. Isn't that amazing? So it feels like as you release your defensiveness, your feeling that you need to defend yourself always against people, release that and just allow yourself to be safe. Believe that you are safe in the body. Allow that you are safe to be with other people. Allow yourself to believe that, and it, it really just not only believe, but declare, declare, I am safe in my body. It is safe for me to love. It is safe for me to be seen. Yeah, my incense is going crazy. It is safe for me to be in the body, to really step into being seen. It is safe for me to step into my fullness, into my gifts. It is safe for me to step into this next season of my life because this cycle has ended. The cycle of feeling like unsafe or you can't trust people or whatever it is that it's going on in your reality um, where you've always, where you've been feeling defensive, that's over. Allow yourself to be safe and to show up and to really allow your gifts to shine. That's what it feels like. Move forward with confidence and grace and peace and just everything. Let your light shine bright because the world needs you. It needs all of us to shine bright and to be who we are and to share our gifts, our magic, our love, our whatever it is that you're here to do and be. Show up and let it be. Let it be. Alrighty, my friends. My friends, my my cohorts, my fellow islanders, whatever you want to be called. I'm so grateful that you're here and I'm asking that you would have a beautiful day and shine bright, friends. Don't hold yourself back. Allow yourself to be seen and uh, we'll talk to you later. Bye.